Right, hello, this is a quick tutorial to show how to filter a repeating group um, by two different factors. So here I've got a list of made up addresses, um, properties I've called them, uh, with details, how many bedrooms they have, and the type of property. Um, and I've got a little input box at the top where I can add new ones. Uh, but the important thing here is that it shows all of the properties when there's no filters. Uh, and then you can go to a drop down and you can say, I want to look at two beds and detached, and it will filter on those things. So I'll show you quickly how I did that. Um, it's actually really simple. Um, so you need your two drop downs. So in my database, I've got uh, an object for properties. I've got one for different sizes and one for different types. You could have um, static options in these but I've chosen to have them as dynamic so this is just a normal drop down choices styles dynamic choices type of choices I've got property size which is um, the field name I've given or sorry the data type name I've given the property size uh, and then choices search uh, choices sources just search for property size and then the caption is the current options size name Exactly the same for type, but just replacing everything with the property type, which is another one of my data types. And then for the repeating group, type of content here is property, and the data source is search for properties. There's no constraints on here. It's just searching for all properties in the database. Um, but I've got something called filtered on there, which is just an extra... Um, extra variable you put on and then within that I've got size equals drop down choose sizes value type equals drop down choose types value and very important is that you have to tick this box ignore empty constraints otherwise uh, when you load it up if nothing has been selected neither drop down then you won't get anything in your list um, but when you have that selected it means when nothing is selected in either of the filters you'll see the full list and so that's all um, and if I unselect in here it should show the entire list <coughs>